Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Hi. Can I take a Did she get equal time? But I think she should. But I think what has concerned me most uh, about Donald Trump in, in, in the last week uh, is the outrageous degree to which he is lying. Uh, look, in politics, we can have different points of view. Uh, but when he goes around the country saying that the thousands of people who are coming out the Vice President Harris's rallies don't exist, that they're all fake. That is really quite insane. And I would hope that Vermonters and people all over this country, regardless of your political view, we could disagree on the issues. But you cannot have somebody as the most important, holding the most important position in America, who is just an outrageous liar. Uh, so, you know, that, that's the message that I've gotten from the last week. So should social media be regulated? Well, that's a long discussion for a 12 second ad, but I think there is a lot of concern about the massive amounts of disinformation that gets on to uh, social media. And Trump is, is using that uh, to a very dangerous degree. Senator, with your seat and potentially facing off against Gerald Malloy come November, can you talk a bit about holding on to that majority alongside the Democrats? Yeah, the right. Look, this is going to be a very tough election nationally. Uh, I think uh, the presidential election is going to be very close, so I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that Kamala Harris and Tim Walz win. Uh, I think Democrats have a reasonable chance of recapturing the House. I think the Senate is going to be very, very close, uh, and I'll do what I can to make sure that we have uh, a Democratic Senate. Um, the truth of the matter is, as I think most people know, we cannot bring forth an agenda that meets the needs of working people unless you have support in the House and the Senate. So I hope we can win the White House uh, and uh, the House and the Senate as well. Kevin? Uh, okay. Good. Senator, Just, why should Vermonters re-elect you for another six years? Well, I hope that people perceive that I've been doing a good job. Uh, I have been leading the effort in this country to try to lower the cost of prescription drugs, uh, 
to build affordable housing, uh, to deal with the climate crisis and to protect the needs of working families. And as chairman of the Health Education Labor Position uh, uh, Committee, uh, you know, I'm in a position to do some important things. Looking at your likely opponent, Gerald Malloy, what is your impression on him, and what do you expect the main points of the campaign to be? Well, I don't know Mr. Malloy terribly well. I know him once. And I just look forward to an issue-oriented campaign. Uh, I suspect we have very fundamental differences of opinion on the issues. I believe that it is women who have the right to control their own bodies and not the government. And I think the Supreme Court decision on Roe v. Wade was terrible. Uh, I think the Supreme Court decision, by the way, on Citizens United, which allows billionaires to buy elections, was a disaster as well. Uh, I think we've got to raise the minimum wage to a living wage. I happen to believe that the United States has got to do what every other major country on earth does and guarantee health to all people as a human right. Uh, so I suspect uh, views on those issues are probably different. Uh, Gay, are you concerned about the Middle East, half what's happening in the Middle East? That's about it. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys.